Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I'm making a video about how to clean mold off of uh, VHS tapes. Uh, this is basically uh, straight from the tutorial on Lunch Meat VHS. Some of you may have seen that blog post. I think it's a two-part blog post now. Uh, I do a couple, of, couple more steps uh, than they do for the tapes just to make sure that everything is uh, extra super clean. And uh, it's usually recommended that you don't do tapes that are that seem to be really far gone, but I'm gonna try one today that is really, really bad. And as you can see, this, this tape is in really awful shape. But I'm gonna show you that this technique does, in fact, work on even tapes that seem to be really far gone. The only, the only thing that it probably wouldn't work on is if the mold has eaten part of the tape, obviously. Um, but if the mold, even if there's a lot of mold and it's just kind of sitting on top of the tape, the reel right there, as you can see, and we'll find out when we clean it, I guess, um, it can be, it can be salvaged. Um, I've had a couple of tapes that were just as bad as this and cleaned them and they were fine. And, uh, we're going to see, uh, see if we're going to do the same thing to this one today. What you'll need for this is some... Uh, ice purple rubbing alcohol. I've got 91% here. You can get this at like a Walgreens, Walmart. Um, paper towels, just in case. I don't really know if I'm going to use them, but it's good to have them. Uh, you'll need cotton swabs, Q-tips. I'm wearing rubber gloves. This might be overkill, but I mean, we are working with mold, so just in case. And uh, you can't see, but I do have a mask on. If you have a respirator, that's even better, but I do have like a, like a painting mask or a dust mask. Um, I also have a can of air duster. Um, this is probably not super recommended, but if, if, you, have, if you happen to have a, a VCR that's really, really nasty inside uh, when you pick it up and try to make a cleaning rig out of it, uh, this can really help um, just kind of clean it out to get you set for cleaning. Um, so this VCR right here is, was really easy to open. Uh, it just had two screws on the back and the top just pops right off. Your mileage may vary with that, just depending on what you've got. But um, we're going to go ahead and try to clean this thing. Oh yeah, the, the tool that you actually end up cleaning with is one that they describe how to make on the Lunch Meat VHS blog post, which I will link with this. Uh, this is basically, I don't know if you can tell, but this is basically four Q-tips stacked together. And then the ends were cut off, like right at where the cotton swab was, right about there just stacked together and then they were rubber band together. Now this is microfiber cloth that I bought from the Vision Center at Walmart and you can get like a ton of it. This is like a whole sheet of it for like three bucks. So I just cut off a piece of that, wrapped it around there nice and tight so we've got a nice flat surface here to work with. And this is what we'll be, this is the tool we'll be using basically to clean the tape, the magnetic tape itself. Okay, so what you'll want to do is take your rubbing alcohol and a cotton swab right here, and I just kind of dip it down in there like that. And then I just kind of wet the flat part of this microfiber cloth. And you don't want it soaking, but just just wet enough. Now, if your tape is already rewound, for me, I had to find the sweet spot for where I want to actually place this against the tape. The VHS, uh, the Lunch Meat VHS blog post recommends right over here in this area, if your VCR actually is set up that way. Most of them are, this is, this is kind of a basic uh, setup. Um, but what I found works best for me uh, on the fast forward run through of the cleaning because we'll do two passes we'll do a fast forward and then a rewind uh is this area right here right next to this post you can see there's a little post here if i did it over here the mold will collect against this post and then i have to clean this post what i like to do instead is to kind of push this against the tape so it separates the tape from this post 
and it won't collect there. And, and instead, it'll, the mold will kind of come right out of the tape against my little tool here and just clean it off immediately. So we're gonna try that. So I do that, press fast forward. Okay, first pass is done. If you can see that, but there's a, you can see the mold that it kind of gathered on that thing. So we can already take a look at the tape and see that on this side, we've got a much cleaner tape than we started with. But now you can still see that there's a mold inside there. So what I'm gonna do is after the first cleaning, I'm gonna open up the tape and clean out the inside of this reel on this side and just kind of clean out the tape in general. And then we'll put the tape back together, we'll rewind it, do another cleaning on the tape, and then probably open it up again and clean the tape one last time, put it back together, and then we should have a clean tape. Look at that. That's pretty nasty. All right. So what I'm gonna start with is paper towel, alcohol, and just clean the inside of this tape right here. Now, mold spores are pretty resistant, but they can't stand up to 95% or 91% alcohol. They will die, for sure. And some people will tell you, you know, you, you can't get rid of mold spores, you have to, you know, it's really impossible to get rid of mold spores, so if you have a moldy tape, just throw it away, it's a futile effort. I don't find that to be the case. Mold uh, spores are everywhere, and it is only the conditions under which mold is capable of growing, growing that we need to avoid. Because if you take a tape that, as far as you know, is perfectly clean, works fine, looks great, and you put it in conditions where mold is able to grow, chances are mold is gonna grow on the tape. You know, I wouldn't throw away a tape unless it just was unplayable, if you just could, simply could not get it to work. Um, but yeah, throwing away a tape just because it appears to be moldy, I don't know, I think that, that, that is, they are totally salvageable. Now, do this at your own risk, because you are opening up, you know, your VCR, you are opening up your tapes, and it's not like uh, magnetic tapes are impervious to damage. Of course you can damage your stuff. So be careful, of course, if it's things that you care about. Oh no, our post came out. I do have a window open too. I recommend you have a window open if you live in a small apartment and don't have a workshop or like a garage or something to do this kind of thing in. Okay. That looks much better than it did. Much, much better. Take a Q-tip. More alcohol. And then on the side, the reel that's empty, just gonna swab the inside of it. Just kind of paint the alcohol on the whole thing. <clears throat> See any corners, like on the tape, that have a little bit of mold in them? Just feel free to dig in there with a cotton swab. Just clean them out. Your posts might be dirty. Clean those too. Okay, now that we've got our tape back together, we're gonna put it back in for 
the rewind cleaning. Now you can just take a clean Q-tip, alcohol, and do it again. Now, for the rewind pass, I do like to come over here. The first time I did the top side of the tape, this time I'll do the bottom side and I'll hit it over here. And I did take off the gloves because I'm tired of dealing with them. I thought it was overkill anyway, it's fine. And then just rewind the tape. All right, rewind pass done. As you can see, the tape looks a lot better than it did before. I mean, a whole lot. I can still see a speck. There's a speck right there. There's a speck there. A little bit. I'm taking a closer look here. Yeah, I mean, there's tiny little specks, and I think actually the specks I'm seeing are on the plastic reel and not the tape itself. So yeah, not too bad. Um, I'm going to open this thing up one more time, clean the inside of it, and then we'll test it. Yeah, a little bit of a rough start. So I'm going to fast forward it a little bit and see if we can get to a cleaner place. Looking a little bit better. I think it finally cleans up. A little bit there. Yeah, not too bad.